what is up everyone welcome back to the channel in today's episode we're going to be ceramic coating my cosmos mr7 wheels on the 240 something i should have done when they were brand new but it's finally time to get some ceramic coating on the cosmos mr7 we are going to be running the g technic c5 wheel armor um, generally known as one of the kind of top ceramic coatings for wheels and so that's what we're going to be doing today uh, it's getting warm and so I really need to get these done pretty quickly. Uh, while the car is up in the air, I'm probably going to go ahead and ruin the suspension geometry a little bit more on this car and add camber to the front. Right now it's zero camber, um, kind of came from BC that way. The rear wheels have a bit of camber and so with the fronts at zero camber, it almost makes it look like it has negative camber and so uh, for stance's sake, we're going to sacrifice a little more suspension geometry, but uh, should be looking pretty good. So that's what we got going on today on the 240. Let's get it. ceramic coating is a little bit more involved i think i'm going to do uh, something a little different and actually go in a little more depth in this video kind of go through the steps uh step by step process walk you through ceramic coating it can be a little intimidating because you can sort of mess it up but uh normally it's a pretty easy process the reason why you go ceramic coating over like a wax or something like that like maybe uh people did uh, back in the day is because ceramic coating actually adds another layer to your paint basically you're adding a, a solid layer of protection with uh, the serum that crystallize um, rather than just um, a, a wax on top of your paint which can you know break down after a, a while easily wipe off um, etc so that's why we're going ceramic coating especially on the white wheels they get super dirty one drive up the freeway to this month's cars and coffee and the wheels were already dirty so we definitely want to get some ceramic coating on here so let's get started so first things first we want to get these washed up today we're going to be using chemical guys diablo gel wheel cleaner and i've got a fresh wash mitt and then uh the stubby wand attachment for my pressure washer this is a must gonna make the job way easy so let's be washing Okay, so it is now time to get these ceramic coated. We just got them washed. Um, they are completely decontaminated. I had to actually clay bar a couple of spots even though there's less than 100 miles on these wheels. So we're gonna get to ceramic coating these. I'm gonna start with the drums or the inside of the wheels here. Um, I'm gonna have to grab a glove because you don't wanna get this on your skin or anything like that but it's pretty easy, I guess. Um, we're gonna find out. You basically just put a couple drops on the applicator pads and it looks like I've got four in there. So maybe I'll use four different for each of my wheels. We'll see how it goes. 30 mil is supposed to be enough for the inside and outside of four wheels so hopefully that is the case. We're gonna find out. Um, you just want to get even coverage that is the main goal of all of this is to get even coverage so you're basically going to apply it get super even coverage and then you're going to basically immediately buff it off 
per the instructions of G-Technic. So that's what we're gonna do next, get these coated. It's pretty warm outside, so I'll probably just do one outside to show you, and then I'm gonna pop the rest inside and finish these up. All right, so we're just basically just gonna jump in here. I got these little applicator pads, which look like this. And I definitely just opened this up and it exploded all over my arm. And you're not supposed to put this on your skin or something like that, I don't know. But I've already spilled a bunch of it and this is super expensive stuff. All right, so we're basically just going to, I think I'm gonna do like quarter sections of the wheel since it's a little warm and I might do 30 seconds instead of a minute, but we'll see. I'm just gonna pop a couple drops on here. It comes out very quickly and we start coating. I don't know if you're supposed to cross-section it, but it kind of feels natural too. Get it nice and even. Get up in there. Do the back side of the spokes. Okay. Wait about 30 seconds. Then buff it off. It already feels way smoother, which is pretty cool. And the buffing is just to really make sure you got an even coating. And uh, another tip is you're basically gonna burn one of your microfibers. You don't want to use this afterwards because it's actually going to crystallize on the microfiber and uh, so this becomes useless. Okay, then we're gonna work in another quarter section of the wheel. Okay, 30 seconds. Okay, and that's pretty much it. I'm gonna time lapse the rest of coating this wheel and uh, we'll get these wrapped up. up ceramic coating the wheels went pretty smoothly again if anyone's afraid of doing this it's really not that bad of a job just make sure you do your research beforehand know the materials and uh, the products and everything that you'll need to know ahead of time and that makes it go a lot smoothly so we got those all wrapped up and now it is time to add some camber to the front of the s13 I don't have any extended lower control arms or anything like that. Again, not really a drifter, so I don't know if I'll be adding those anytime soon. Probably not. But I do want to camber the front a little bit so it looks better with the way that the rears are cambered as of right now. Um, ideally, you want, if you're going for an aesthetic look, then you want to camber the fronts and usually go straight in the rears, but a little bit of camber does look uh, decent in the rears as well. So we're just going to be utilizing the strut mounts with the camber adjustment on the BC coilover. So we'll be doing that right now. Let's get it.
like that, we have got the camber adjusted on the front of the S13. I love having adjustable coilovers, uh, Super 6, something I've always wanted. Now to be tinkering around, making adjustments is pretty cool. So we've got a little bit of camber added to the front of the S13. Gonna add a little aesthetic addition to the 240. Gonna get the wheels back on. This is wrapping it up for today's video. Once again, thanks so much for watching and peace. I cannot believe it, but uh, the bolts just came out. We've got this test pipe here. Don't worry about it, I live in Canada.